What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, updating the tier list for main weapons, sub weapons, and secondary weapons. Today I'm actually going to do it a little different. We're going to do Tifa, the queen of debuffs, and pretty much jack of all trades, one of my favorite characters. We're going to do the descriptions a little differently though for each glove. We're going to talk about the main weapon, secondary weapon, and sub weapon, including all the materia slots and the R abilities and C abilities. I didn't get a chance to do that last time, but this time I definitely want to because I think it's very important to note what each one does. So let's start off with the featured weapon that's currently going on right now for her, and that's the life wraps. Now these are going to be the healing gloves of choice for Tifa, okay? Now if you plan to make her main healer, just note something, she doesn't have an oh shit button. These healing gloves are meant to be a lot more often and a lot more quantity, but with less abilities. She gives you the boost heal R ability, she gives you the boost fire resist, so they're really good for Ifrit battles or anyone that has any type of fire. Also at the same time, the boost abilities, uh, the boost heal isn't bad. It starts with plus three, it can go all the way to plus 27. And the support material are attack boost, magic attack boost, and heal boost. So it's a, it's a, it's an overall pretty damn good weapon for healing, but it's not the best. If I compare it to Fairy Tail and Prime Number, it definitely doesn't sit on top of the, the food chain for healing. So it definitely gets the S and not SS. Some of you may argue this, but I don't think Tifa is gonna be main hero, healer quality for me. She's a debuffer and main DPS, depending on how you run her, but she definitely can be off healing on some battles if you do require that for her but i still think these are not as good as fairy tale or prime number all right moving over to the next one we're going to do leather gloves all right so leather gloves are actually my favorite my personal favorite debuffing gloves now the only reason why debuffing weapons are not going to get top tier guys is because so many bosses and enemies are actually immune to these debuffs so we're going to rate them a little differently now these ones are my favorite because they reduce physical attack from mid to high depending where you go with them the boost the boost to physical defense and boost to lightning resist is great for fights like ramu or he does magic obviously but the the, the resist is nice for lightning or like astral giant if you fight him for the physical defense now as a sub weapon it has p attack bonus p attack bonus sorry as a secondary weapon p attack bonus p attack bonus and attack boost fire so it's really good against fire does 30 percent more damage with fire abilities and the physical attack is kind of nice so these are going to go s as well too i'm not going to give them ss again because of the immunities for a lot of opponents to some debuffs so you're going to see a couple here that you probably think might be ss but to me because of how many units out there are immune to debuffs i just can't logically give them that full ss tier okay next up grand gloves now these are probably the worst gloves with the highest potency for healing so physical heal is cast starts at 93 percent, but it's a self heal unfortunately and because it can go all the way to 130 percent self heal she can actually stay alive quite a bit so if you're going to be using her to solo content or to use her as your main dps as a as an off heal and you don't have a healer she can keep herself alive with this it also reduces uh, so it removes poison and silence as well it gives you it gives you the our ability of boost heal and boost water potency and then with the uh, support material goes attack boost magic bo magic boost and attack boost water so here's the problem with these because they're a selfish glove i can't give them very much but because the potency for healing is so damn high it definitely gets a b so if you run it as a secondary weapon to her main dps weapon tifa can stay alive for quite some time with these so keep that in mind when you're running that now it does use an insane amount of atb though the vigor uses the full bar almost actually it uses five sorry not the full bar five of them which is the same as a fairy tale heal or a prime number heal uh and one one more than the actual life guard so you know what actually we're going to drop these to c for now until we find a better use for them they're only okay as a secondary weapon or they're going to be good as a sub weapon for somebody who's a healer because of the boost heal ability of plus 40 okay all right moving on to the crystal gloves which are next up right in the list now these ones are actually really good for magic damage lightning damage specifically for all enemies gives you boost hp and gives you the boost lightning potency as our ability so amazing for murasame users for cloud also magic attack boost magic attack boost and the sigil boost for the x now these are going to be pretty much the same as the wiser staff and if we're going to put wiser staff up here it doesn't make sense not to give tifa this as well too so you guys can see she definitely gets the treatment of ss for these gloves they're probably her best to second best magic damage dealing gloves and while we're talking about that let's move over to power soul now these ones here are actually the single target non um, ma the magic non elemental damage with the crit ability also provides you boost hp but gives you the boost magic ability potency which with the attack stance can raise your potency up to i believe it's 36 or 
60% more magic damage. So it was crazy as an R ability. So if you plan to use it as a, as a secondary weapon or as a primary weapon with magic, this is gonna be insane for you. It also has attack boost, magic attack boost, and magic attack boost. So this right here is probably going to be her second best that nah, could be her first best DPS for bosses, and this is good for ads, right? So depending which way you want to go about it. All right, moving over to the Kaiser Gloves. Now these ones here are going to get an A. They reduce magic defense from mid to high. Now the reason why these are a little lower compared to the physical attack reduction on leather gloves is because these are actually built, in my opinion, specifically for the Shiva fight or Shiva fight, Shiva fight, however you want to call her. It's the same thing at the end of the day. She does boost magic defense with the R abilities and boost ice resist by a lot. And then the special material, unfortunately, is attack boost, attack boost, magic attack boost. So the problem with this one here, I find, is the fact that, again, it's the resistance, right? And the fact that you do have uh, ice resist and magic defense resist, which is really nice. Sorry, ma uh, boost magic defense and ice resist, which is really nice. But I find it's only good for really blue dragon and shiva fights. And again, the magic, def the magic defense reduction is really nice. But I think these are a little less commonly used than the leather gloves. I think the leather gloves are a little more popular. Speaking of leather gloves, we'll talk about the counterpart to leather gloves and that is the tiger fangs, which I like to use a lot as well. And these one actually reduce the magic attack of an opponent. So really good against Shiva or anyone who does a lot of magic attack that you need to reduce, the, reduce that for. Also has the ability to go from mid to high with the crit potency as well at 10%. And then our abilities here gives you boost to magic attack and boost to critical potency. Again, that will allow you to hit harder with these gloves. And if you are casting spells, hit a little harder with your spells as well. Now where this has a little bit of contention with me is the actual support material. It has the attack boost, which is fine because that gets a split between physical and magic. But then the next were all physical attack boost. And that makes no sense to me because the R abilities kind of counter counteract that. And because of that reasoning, this is also going to get an A. I would normally have put this as an S, but because leather gloves are built so much better with the R abilities, get right? Because leather gloves R abilities are physical defense boost and boost lightning resist, but they also give you P attack, P attack, and attack boost, which and, and they are a physical attack move. While the Tiger Fangs are a physical attack or a physical attack move, but they give you boost to magic and boost crit potency. So it makes you a little bit more of a hybrid hybrid player, but the magic attack reduction is pretty huge. So you know what? We'll, we'll toss them in S for now. I would say a little bit lower than the, the leather gloves and utility though. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're looking at these. And then the next two here. So first off, motor drive. This is single-handedly the highest boost physical attack R ability in the game. Gives you 790% wind damage plus boost wind potency. And then gives you physical attack all across the board in regards to how much damage you can do. So this is gonna be your main DPS weapon for sure for a long time if you run it, or it's an amazing sub weapon for people who need the, the P attack, uh, such as Cloud, for example, or Barret, or whoever you plan to use, or Glenn, right? So amazing, amazing weapons for Tifa. And then lastly, they're gonna be the Sonic Strikers, okay? So these ones are her next in line. Non, th These are the non-magical physical abilities can go all the way up to 990% physical non-elemental damage with crit abilities boost attack and boost water resistance, has attack boost, attack boost, and physical attack boost. So these ones are going to be right here, unfortunately, just because the support material isn't as good, for example, as motor drive. Motor drive just has way better support material. Plus, I believe it has way better R abilities with the boost physical attack and boost wind potency because it is a physical wind damage dealing move. The, now, the percentage itself isn't as high on it. The actual... Sonic Strikers do 990% and these do 790, but they have the ability also to do more damage against units with arrow, okay? So there you guys have it. That is Tifa in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I actually just made one adjustment so everyone's aware. I did put this sword all the way up here. I believe that's the crystal sword. That moved up for Cloud to A from B. And I think that was the only real change I made out of the rest of this. Everything else is exactly where it was. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I personally love Tifa. I use her on my free to play account and she's been doing a lot of work for me. And I think she's honestly got one of the, some of the best R abilities, some of the best sub, sub weapons for everybody. And she's got a really good kit that, that lets her pretty much do any role in the game. All right, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.